Hello and welcome to the Dankest Dungeon. Today we're going to be playing with commanders from the March of the Machine Aftermath set. And the power level for this game is going to be set at spicy. So what that means is every card in our deck needs to be under $20 each, except for three cards that are allowed to be over this limit. I'm sure you're all very excited. I know we are. Let's go ahead and get into the game. Hey, it's Jason, and today I'm going to be playing Nisa Resurgent Animist. So basically this is a landfall deck, but I'm also looking to use Nisa's second ability to tutor up elementals and elves into my hand. I'm going to try to utilize this to pull off a combo with Quirion Ranger, a Shia Soul of the Wild, and Leaf Crown Visionary to make infinite mana and draw my entire deck. Hi, I'm Eddie, and today we're playing Samut, Vizier of Noctamun. And the whole goal of the deck is just to summon with a bunch of hasty creatures and draw a ton of cards. Hey, it's Matt. I am playing Obnixilis Captive Kingpin. Uh, obviously, the uh, main point of the deck is to get all we wanted to play because it's an infinite combo with just it and the commander. Uh, for the other 98 cards, I've chosen to do a variety of things that ping people for playing the game. Howdy, guys. It's Nate. Today, I'm playing Calyx, guided by fate. Uh, my plan is to guide a really big Calyx into someone's face. Let's go ahead and roll off everyone. I got a 10 this time. 4, 3, 11. Good job. I will not. This is the one land, but it's close. Do it, for science. What's the worst that could happen? I'm not keeping. I will keep. Uh, this hand seems keepable. I went from a one lander to a no lander. Nice! So. Guess I'm going to 6. This is okay. Yeah, we're keeping this. All right, draw. Let's play a forest. Pay one, Avison's Pilgrim. Go ahead. I will draw, play a forest, exploration. Mm. Nice. Begins forest. Remember when I said he's gonna have 12 mana? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't not believe that. Uh, forest, birds of paradise. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Allow me to go last and also be in the color that doesn't ramp on turn one. <laughs> Swamp, Keterect Parasite. It is a 1-1. One, one. Whenever an opponent draws a card, if I control a red permanent, I can have Keterect Parasite deal one damage to that player. Play of Plains, pay two. I'm gonna go ahead and three visits. Search my library for forest, put it into play. Out. Pay two. Sithis, Harvest's Hand. When I cast an enchantment spell, I can gain a life and draw a card. Gross. Go ahead. Untap, draw. I'm gonna go ahead and play a forest. Then I'll pay three for my commander. And then we'll drop the base. A verdant catacombs. Trigger my commander. I'll add one green to my pool. And let's go ahead and crack the catacombs to grab a forest card. So the forest will come into play. Trigger Nisa, I will add another green to my pool. Trigger her second ability, I will reveal from the top of my library until I reveal an elf or an elemental. Allosaur Shepherd, two hand. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to pass. And mountain. Samut. How big is your commander? Three, three. What the f <laughs> Why is mine a two, three? Nisa ain't no scrub. <laughs> How big is your set this? One, two? Swing two at you. Rude. So move. Dead damage, I draw a card. And that is all I have. That was Vigilance? I'll yes. untap and draw. I will play my second mana source. Thank you very much. What the hell is that? Uh, it is Dragon Skull Summit. And there's oh. untapped because I have a swamp. And then I will play Erecto Signet. I can ramp two guys. <laughs> Yay. Play planes. I'm gonna pay three. Cast Cal. On cast, I gain a life, draw a card. Key entered so I can put a plus one, plus one counter on another target creature. Ooh, choose me. No, I want to put it on Calyx. I'm going to pay two. Cast and all that glitters onto Sithis. Trigger on cast, Sithis. Trigger and enchantment entered. Make Calyx bigger. I'm going to go to combat. Jason, I'm going to swing a four or five at you. Okay. Trigger Calyx, an enchanted creature I control dealt combat damage to a player. I create a token that's a copy of target non-legendary enchantment I control. I'm gonna put in all the glitters onto Calyx. Trigger an enchantment entered. I'm gonna put the plus one counter on Calyx. He's better than I thought. <laughs> Go ahead. He's <laughs> pretty good. I'm gonna untap and draw. Four for Sky Shroud Claim. 
I'm gonna search my library for two forest cards, put them onto the battlefield. These will enter, trigger Nisa, I'll get one mana, two mana. Second time it triggers, I will reveal it from the top until I reveal an elf or an elemental. Leaf Crown Visionary to hand. I got my protection and my card draw outlet from the combo. Use this two and two for Toski, Barrier of Secrets. Uh, I'm gonna swing on you, Edward. I deal damage, I draw a card from Toski. I'm done. Cinder Glade. I'm going to pay four for a Death Leaper terror weapon. Creatures I control that have entered the battle for this turn have double strike. Uh, Jason, swing on you for three double strike and a two three with first strike. Does he have trample? No. I'll block him. Okay. And then I'll take two? Yep. And then I will not draw a card. Damn it. Oh well. Go ahead. Turn three. <laughs> Untap and draw. That is not the land I was looking for. I think we're just going to have to trust that we're not going to be dead next turn. Pay three for Warren Power Stone. Comes untapped. Otherwise, it's a soul ring. That's it, past turn. If you appreciate the content that we're creating and you'd like to support us here at the dungeon, the number one way to do so is to sign up to become a member over on our Patreon page. Some of the patron benefits include access to our full deck lists, voting privileges for polls held over on our Patreon, and shout outs at the end of every video to let everyone know how awesome you are. If money's tight and becoming a patron isn't the best option for you right now, we totally get it. Simply liking our videos or subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and commenting down below all help as well and are totally free. Thank you all for watching and enjoy the game. On to okay. Pay one. Ethereal armor on the Calyx. It gives plus one plus one for each enchantment I control and first strike. Cast an enchantment, gain a life draw card. Man, where is that beast within where I need it? Pay green. Elvish mystic. Combat, Jason. I'm gonna swing a 16-16 with first strike at you, and a 6-7 at you. Block your commander. Okay. I'll take six. Hey, an enchanted creature I control dealt combat damage to a player. I wanna put an ethereal armor onto Sithis. I'm gonna make Calyx bigger. Yikes. So there's a combination of things going on over there. I'm gonna pay two. I'm gonna rampant growth because I need more land. Please, sir, could I borrow a land? I'm ever so hungry. <laughs> and then we will play a land for turn. <laughs> Go ahead. At end of your turn, I'm gonna pay two life for Noxious Revival. I'm gonna put this land on top of my library. All right, go to my turn. I will play the Subverting Catacombs, trigger Nisa. I will add one green to my pool. I'm gonna sack yeah. Subverting Catacombs. I will grab another forest, trigger Nisa. I'll get a second mana, and then I'm gonna shuffle, and I'm gonna reveal again. We'll reveal until I hit an elf or an elemental. Ashaya, Soul of the Wild, we'll go to hand. Everybody having fun today. I would like to hit my third land draw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use this two mana and two more for Harmonize, draw three cards. I will play my second land for turn, trigger Nisa, put a green in my pool. All right, we're just gonna let this fizzle and go to combat. Toski needs to swing, he will swing on map for one. I choose not to block. I will draw a card, seven cards in hand, I will pass. I'm gonna play this mountain. Pay four. Minsk and Boo, Timeless Heroes. When he enters the battlefield or at the beginning of my upkeep, I create a Boo, Legendary 1-1 Red Hamster Creature Token with Trample and Haste. Oh yes, what a timeless hero. <laughs> Absolutely, dude. <laughs> He's dude's a Chad. <laughs> He's here to fuck shit up. He has like drug dealer vibes. <laughs> Hey man, you wanna buy some hero? <laughs> Win? We're gonna go ahead and plus one uh, Minsk and Boo, Timeless Heroes, to put three plus one counters up to one target creature with haste and tra or haste or trample. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> now he is a big boy. We're gonna throw Boo at you. Yep. Mm -hmm. We'll throw Death Leaper at you and Samut at you. I will take 11. I'm gonna throw all this mystic in front of it. Sick. I will draw two cards off of Boo. And uh, go ahead. I will untap into my fourth turn. All right, everything's going great. I'm going to draw. Ooh, I've drawn a land. We've done it. It's Scalding Tarn. Two, Arcane's Ignit. 
One, two, three, four. I have a commander. Only slightly late to the party. It is Obnixilus, Captive Kingpin. Four, three, flying trample. Whenever one or more opponents each lose exactly one life, put a one, one counter on them, then exile the top card of my library until my next end step. I may play that card. Pass turn. Draw. Trigger Cataract Parasite. You will take one damage. Root. Trigger Obnixilus. He will be big and I will exile. Bloodseeker for next turn. Play a planes for turn. Go to combat. And just kill Jason. Do it. <laughs> He'd do it to you. I'm gonna swing a 13, 14 at you, Jason, and a 17, 18, 19, 19 at you. Um, I'm gonna beast within your commander. <laughs> Good beast within. Yeah. Okay. Dude, we have to use the beastie token. And suddenly Sithis is a little smaller. So yeah. seven, eight. The question is, do I have enough mana to throw Nisa under the bus? Yeah, I'll block with Nisa. Main two. I'm gonna worldly tutor. So my library for a creature, reveal it, put it on top. I'm gonna put a Weaver of Harmony on top. And pay five. My cast Calyx. Trigger, gain a life, draw a card. Trigger Cataract Parasite. Take a damage. I will exile Mayhem Double. Get mm. bigger Calyx. Pay two. Weaver of Harmony. Synthos trigger, I gain a life and draw a card. Kedrick Parasite trigger, I will deal you damage. Swift foot boots. Pay a turn. Untap. And draw. When yeah, you draw, I will, I'm going to trigger Kedrick Parasite. I'll lose a life. Yeah. Blood Artist. Mm. We will pay five for Nisa, Resurgent Animist. I'm going to play a Forest Return, trigger Nisa, I will get one green. I will play another Forest Return, trigger Nisa, I will get another green. I will reveal until I hit an elf or an elemental. Crayon Ranger will go to hand. So I'm going to use this two and three for Ashaya, Soul of the Wild. Legendary creature, elemental. Its power and toughness are each equal to the number of lands I control. Non-token creatures I control are forest lands in addition to their other types. How big would you say it is? Uh, 13, 13. I'm gonna pay one green for a Quirion Ranger. When it enters, it will trigger Nisa to add one green to my pool because this is a forest in addition to its other types. Then I'm gonna tap Toski for one green and I'm going to return a forest control to my hand with Quirion Ranger to untap Toski. I will respond to that. I'm gonna lose a million life. I'm going to fetch a Scalding Tarn, Blood Crip, and I'm going to cast Vendetta targeting Ashaya. Destroy target non-black creature, it can't be regenerated, you lose life equal to that creature's toughness. Okay, so it's toughness, 13. it's currently 13. I will lose 13 life, but that thing's not in play anymore. Yep. Good job. Thank you. Well, now we're in survival mode, so we're just going to play some critters. <laughs> Let's do a Birds of Paradise and a Alishsaurus Shepherd. Toski needs to swing on someone. I'll swing on you, Nat. Sure. I can take one. All right. I'll draw a card. Trigger your cataract, I'll do you one damage. Yeah. I will exile Fate Unraveler. I'm all done. Good luck, guys. Play a forest. When you draw for turn, I will trigger cataract parasite, because I'm paying attention. Ob grows, I will exile a land. Pay three for an Adelan Jackal. Or that, another Warhammer card. All these motorcycles and guns and shit. I mean, he's from Capenna. At least he's used to the guns. Yeah, they got the gats. So there's Trample and Haste. Whenever he does common damage to a player, I may search my library for a baseline card from the battlefield tap to shuffle my library. We're going to plus one, but it's gonna boo again. We're gonna put three counters on, put on the Adelan Jackal. Go to combat, so we're gonna swing on you for five. And then Jason, we're gonna swing on you with a boo. I'll take four. I'll take 10. Okay, and then I draw two cards, taking two life. And I will put two counters on odd. Add two more cards to my stash. Dark Ritual and Coalition Relic. Adeline Jackal. Oh yeah, I search my way for a baseline, put on the battlefield tap. Two, because it has a double strike. And that'll be my turn. I will go to my turn. He's got so many options. I have a lot of stuff right now. I will start with the Graven Cairns. Five. I am going to cast Chandra's Ignition. Oof. Target creature you control deals damage equal its power to each other creature and each opponent. 12 damage to each other creature and each other player. I got no mana, I got nothing. I have nothing. I have no response to the spell. Cataract's dead, but so is Jason. Yeah. I was like... Mm -hmm. Is this one I would do this? I would wrap in vigor, regenerate each creature? Uh, you would do that be in response okay. to the spell. Well, then then that's what I will do. All right, yeah. that so makes I sense. Guess. Well, I don't like that very much. I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna swing at Minsk and Boo, because that thing is extremely frightening. 
Boo will live on in your name. We're going to cast Dark Ritual from Exile to add three black to my mana pool. I think we are going to play a Bloodseeker for two of the mana. Whenever a creature enters under opponent's control, I may have that player lose one life. I think we're just gonna end the turn. Unta, upkeep, draw, pay three. Siana, Captain of Palace. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top seven cards of my library. I can reveal an aura card from among them and put it into my hand. Put the rest on the bottom of my library in a random order. Trigger Bloodseeker, you get to lose a life. I'll trigger up. Yeah, I'm gonna reveal an angelic gift. Pay two. Angelic gift onto Siana. Trigger, when an aura you control becomes attached to a creature I control, I create a 1-1 one, one human. Trigger Bloodseeker. Let's beseech the queen. Also, what does Angelic Gift do? Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I draw a card. Enchanted creature has flying. So it enters, I draw a card. Play land for turn. <laughs> and pass the turn. All of the creatures live. We're gonna play a mountain. Pay five. We're gonna play a Xenogod, which actually is a creature currently. Cool, trigger Bloodseeker. It's hey, Prosper. Go to combat. We're gonna give the Adelan Jackal plus five, plus five. So that's now a 10 10 haster. Seems good. Uh, I guess we're just gonna swing squat at you. Man. You as in, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I am going to deal three damage to this thing. To the Death Leaper. Because it scares me. I take the rest of it though. It's okay. gonna be 14, 15, 16. I will search my library for a basic land, put on the battlefield tapped, forest. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw. Uh, I have Sulphur Springs. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. Black into black red. Use the red to make black black. So I've got triple black. I will beseech the queen. I am going to reveal Whip of Erebos. Creatures <laughs> I control have lifelink. I can pick four and tap it to return a creature from my graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste and then it goes away forever at the end of turn. Three, four, Whip of Erebos. Creatures I control of lifelink, all that stuff I just said. Pay one, two for Loyal Apprentice. As haste in the beginning of combat on my turn, if I control my commander, I could 1 1 call this Thopter token, flying, and it gets haste until end of turn. I'm going to go to combat. Trigger Loyal Apprentice. Since I can't kill you, I guess we will go, Daddy. Uh, it is a 13 trample flying lifelink, and you're going to make me regret my life. There it is. Uh, I'll give you a beastie token. Uh, end step. These will go away forever, and I will pass the turn. Untap. Play a land return. Play Calyx. Trigger Bloodseeker, use a life. Calyx enters. Let's make Sienna bigger. I'm gonna play a Whip Silk onto Calyx. Trigger, make Sienna bigger. I will trigger Bloodseeker when your dude enters though. Combat. Eddie, I'm gonna fly in the air at four for you. Trigger Calyx. Let's make an angelic gift. Wings. <laughs> I don't know how aerodynamic this guy is, but... Oh, look at that. Now I got a test for a creature. Long boy. <laughs> Let's make Calyx bigger. Go ahead. Uh, play land for turn. Go to combat. We're going to give Samut plus two, plus two, and trample. And then we're going to swing everything at... How big is Calyx? Currently a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, we're swinging everything at you. <sighs> I don't like any of this, dog. Calyx and the human will block Boo. The human plus the angelic gift will get in the way of the god. <coughs> and my long boy will get in the way of your commander. Okay, so you'll take five? Yeah. Okay. In response to declaration, I'm gonna pay a green and I'm gonna return whip soak to my hand. Damage will go through, that'll all die. I will tutor a land to the field tapped. Wow, so good. Wow, oh, I thought this game was near over. Now it's just the big old fucking mess. It's only over for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, chain reaction? Gross. Gross. Uh, one damage to each creature for each creature. Mm -hmm. Nine. Yep. Everyone dies. Yep. Except for Xenagos. Except for Xenagos. We're just going to aggravate Assault, and then just for insurance, fires if you have a Maya. Extra haste. All right. More haste, in case my creatures don't have haste like Xenagos. And I will pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Witch's Clinic. I can tap it for color, so pay two and tap it to give target commander lifelink until end of turn. Six. Bob's back. The man, the myth, the legend. The legend himself. I end to play the last card in my hand, which is Underworld Dreams. When an opponent draws a card, Underworld Dreams deals one damage to him or her. Pass the turn. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, draw a card, lose a life. True the obs. What are the obs? Aw, oh, Tybalt's trickery. Yeah, too bad I don't have two mana. Play a forest for turn. Three. Dryad of the Elysian Grove. 
three. Survival mode. Ancestral mask. Gives plus two, plus two for each other enchantment I control. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pay for it. A Dolan of countless battles. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one for each creature I control and plus one, plus one for each aura I control. So right now it's getting plus three, plus three from a Dolan and plus four, plus four from Ancestral Mask. And I will pass the turn. Untap. Draw. Trigger Underworld Dreams. Bob gets to exile Chandra Awakened Inferno. We're gonna pay two. We're gonna signal the clans. Search library for three creatures, reveal them. If I reveal three creature cards different names, choose one of them at random, put that card in my hand, then shuffle my library. I will choose Grand Warlord Radha, Questing Beast, and Ardo's Cobbler of War. One, two, three, four, five, six. Questing, questing Beast. beast. A4, we will do Questing Beast. We're going to sack the fires of Yavimaya, giving it plus two, plus two. Go to combat, Xenagos trigger, Double questing beast power, making it 12. Uh, swing 12 at you, Matt. I'll block and I'll gain six from lifelink. Pay five, untap all creatures. There's additional combat, followed by additional main phase. Double his power again, making it 24. Kill you. I am extra dead. And then go ahead. Heart of the cards, Yugi! A4, a Johnny is chosen. When an enchantment enters the battlefield under my control, create a 2-2 white cat creature token. If an enchantment is an aura, I may attach it to the token. I'm gonna pay a green. I'm gonna whip silk onto Dryad. Trigger, make a cat. I'm gonna pay a green. I'm gonna return whip silk to my hand. I'm gonna pay a green. I'm gonna re-enchant whip silk. Two cats. I'm gonna do it again. Combat. Swing a 16, 18 at you. Horse block, that touch. Pay a green, I'm gonna return whip slope to my hand. Idle ends in play, cause it was bestowed. Yep, go ahead. Pay three. That's five. The math is hard. <laughs> so move. Then we will go to combat, doubling mm -hmm. its power with Xenagos. So there's a four, five, How, what's your biggest creature? Five, five. Five, five. Pay five. I grade assault and make there an additional combat double her power again to make it a uh, eight, 10. And then we will attack you for eight. I will throw a cat in front of it. Yeah, go ahead. Untap, upkeep, draw, pay eight. Whip soap, return whip soap, whip soap, return whip soap, whip soap, return whip soap, whip soap, return whip soap. Four more cats, pay one. Flickering ward onto a dolan. I make another cat. I'm gonna choose red. Adolan has pro red. Swing 10. I'm gonna swing the Johnny's chosen and the two cats at you. Kill a cat, I guess. Down to two. I'm gonna pay a green. I'm gonna put the Wilp Silk on it. Give myself another blocker. Go ahead. All right, gold span off the top. That's really the only hope. Wow, wow. That ain't it. Good game. Turn the for far seat. Seat. Oh. <laughs> So, we tried. Okay, uh, my turn. I'm gonna untap, draw. I'm gonna swing the 11-11 Adolim with Pro Red at you, Eddie. Sick. Well, that was a really nice game of Magic, if I do say so myself. Everyone got to do their thing, and everyone almost won. Nate took an early lead and then got completely curb stomped, but then was given enough time to rebuild and sneak in for the win. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time.